we're going to create a new file in Archicad and we're going to create and reset the template. So what we see when we open up a new file based on the standard Archicad template is we have a lot of information already saved into the navigator. There's not a lot of built objects here, it's, it's empty, but we already have stories and sections and elevations and worksheets and details and all these are very helpful potentially but they tend to be a little bit complicated and confusing when you're first starting out. So the first thing that we're going to do is to start fresh or blank. So to do this we're going to click File, New and then before we click on the New we're going to press the Alt key and that brings up the New and Reset function. I'm holding down the Alt key and then left clicking to do this. It basically is asking me do I want to save the current file that I'm in. No I don't want to save that. So that will now open up a new window. Let's let this load. It's pretty fast. So there's two parts that we have in understanding our screen, what information that we've got. And that's described as our template and our workspace. Our workspace is the configuration of the toolbars and palettes that we see on the screen and the template can be summed up by effectively the navigator and the information in the navigator and the other settings and most importantly for us those settings are the option element attributes settings, layers, line types, pen, fills, surfaces and so on. These are the things that define what we see when we draw both in 2D and in 3D. So these are very important and we will probably spend a lot of time creating more of these or editing these as they currently are. Another thing that I like to do once someone is a bit more advanced in Archicad is show you how to create customized toolbars or customized palettes and that allows us to interact with our workspace better. For instance when I'm doing these tutorials I need to go through a lot of commands but I don't like using the keyboard commands because you can't see what I'm doing so I'll show you how to create a, a customized toolbar in order to be able to show you some of the commands and how I can access those quickly as well as being able to show you how to find those through the command structure so that's how we're going to set up a blank template and in the next video we'll, we'll look at how to start adding some information into this template in order to be able to begin building our project.